All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use KLWP to randomly show a picture that you have in, uh, that you have saved in a folder on your custom live wallpaper screen. As you can see here, I'm not doing anything to the phone. It's just showing a new picture, and I have them named one through four, uh, and I only have four pictures here. And there's a code we have to do, and the code somewhat is over here. But as you can see, this thing is changing every five seconds. I'm not touching anything. I'm just letting it do it on its own. So with that in mind, let me show you how to do this in KOWP. Uh, credit has to go to Carla Jacobs. She did uh, push me in the right direction for this, and it works great. So here you have it. In KLWP... Um, nothing fancy here, just a blank layout with the image. Just want to show you how to do it. And that image, I'm not picking one in particular. Uh, I have the, the path name for where this picture or these pictures are stored. So let's go to a formula and check it out. Now how I was able to do this, um, this is the file path for the images. And I have four pictures. So let me show you those four pictures where I have them stored at. Using ES File Explorer, I have a uh, picture 1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg, 4.jpg. And you want to name your pictures that you want to show with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, that's going to come into play over here on the formula. And I'm not quite sure if you can see this, but uh, watch in HD and you should be able to. But I'm generating a random number between 1 and 4. And it can generate 1, it can generate 4. So basically this is going to generate a number one, a number two, a number three, a number four. And it's going to do this every five seconds. That's what this whole other code represents. Now maybe there's an easier way of doing this, but this is what works for me and it works just fine. So if the, if the seconds are 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, basically every five seconds it's going to generate a new random number. And this random number is going to be 1, 2, 3, or 4, and it's what's going to trigger this one, this two, this three, or this four to show up. Now, I get that if you're using ES File Explorer, maybe this will be helpful to you, but if I just hold down on one picture and I go to More and Properties, I can actually copy either this file path or copy the full path. And let me just copy the full path just to show you what's uh, going to happen when I paste this into KLWP. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and come down here. Let me enter down one spot and let me paste this. So here is that piece that I just copied over from ES File Explorer. Notice it's the same file path as what I have up here except this spot's blank whereas this one is a 1 because if you remember in ES File Explorer I copied that file path of j 1.jpg. Now up here, I have nothing in that spot, and that's where this code is going to get thrown into it. So you want to delete that one right there. I want to delete that one right there, and as I do that, notice the one goes away up here, but obviously I've already done that. And you want to copy and paste this code into that spot. Now let me delete what I just copied over because I've already done it. But maybe this makes a little bit more sense now. Storage, EXT SD card, KLWP slideshow, widget, slash, and then I have this if. If, and that's just this code over here. So if, blah, 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 you want to generate a random number between 1 and 4. And all of this code right here that I've copied over from this right here is going to put a number in that spot between that backslash and that dot. And it's going to be either a number one, a number two, a number three, or a number four. And that's what's going to trigger that JPEG to pop up on the screen. Now, it's blank for right now, maybe because I just opened this when it wasn't zero seconds, five seconds, or ten seconds. But it does this, and it does it well. So, I'm going to check that. And we have a picture showing up. Now, as this live, as this updates live, maybe I should go back and delete. I need to delete that blank space, maybe, just not to cause any issues. So, um, this is going to update every five seconds. Whenever it hits 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, or 55 seconds. And it's going to hold that picture for five seconds. This is what's worked for me. Let me save this. And like I said, again, the key thing is to name these pictures 
1.jpg, 2.jpg, 3.jpg, 4.jpg. Now, you can have as many as you want. Now, I only have four just for the sake of this video, but it does do them random. So sometimes you might have a picture that shows twice back to back or uh, three times. Who knows? It's completely random when it picks a number between one and four. But as you can see, it is working quite nicely. Now, I'll leave it up to you to do some animations. Should you want these pictures to fade in and out every five seconds, feel free to do that. Uh, check out my videos on animating automatically uh, to, to get to tweak it and make these pictures fade in and fade out as each new one pops up. But for now, I'm just showing you how you can randomly generate a picture from a folder. Make sure you have all these pictures in one folder as I showed you um, in the ES File Explorer and name them one, two, three, four, or how many ever you have. Obviously, if you put 20 pictures in your folder, one through 20, you'd want to change that code right there. You want to randomly generate a number between one and 20, just depending on how many uh, you have in that folder and then if you want them to last a little bit longer maybe you want you don't want to do every five seconds you want to do 0 to 10 then 20 30 40 50 or however often you want this to work but uh, there you have it that's how you randomly generate a slideshow in KOWP and that's it for this video hope it helped